Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this part, we'll talk about the last group that is Deuteromycetes in this kingdom. And the members of Deuteromycetes, they are called Fungi Imperfecti. And the reason why they are known as Imperfecti is that they do not show sexual reproduction. And as this main process is missing, they are considered as Fungi Imperfecti. There are a few very important examples that come under this particular group of Deuteromycetes. One important example is Helminthosporium orisi. This particular fungus is responsible for causing a disease that is called the brown spot of leaf and this infection is very common in rice. There was a situation in Bengal where the entire rice crop was affected by this particular fungus and the infection was so severe that the entire crop got destroyed and that resulted into a situation which we now know as Bengal famine. So this particular member belongs to Deuteromycetes. There are two more examples which we talk of when we talk of phytohormones and that is Gibberella fugicurai and this fungus it releases gibberlic acid or gibberlin then this is the one which is responsible for bolting that is internodal elongation internodal elongation and that is due to this phytohormone that is produced by gibberella so gibberella is also in this deuteromycetes so these are some important examples of uh, deuteromycetes and the as we said it is called fungi imperfecti now let us talk of few more important examples of kingdom fungi in general one is neurospora neurospora belongs to ascomycetes it is the same group to which yeast and penicillium they belong Neurospora is commonly known as Drosophila of plant kingdom and the reason for calling this Neurospora the Drosophila because it has been used for the research work in genetics as when we talk of genetics Drosophila is an important uh, material which was used to study inheritance of various traits. Similarly, Neurospora has also been used to study genetics when it comes to plant genetics. So it is compared with Drosophila. This is one important example. The other one is which belongs to Phycomycetes. It is called Phytophthora infestans. Phytophthora infestans. It belongs to Phycomycetes and it causes a disease which is known as late blight of potato. Again, this fungus was responsible for a condition which we now call Irish famine and what happened in Bengal with rice, same thing happened in Ireland with potato crop. 
then the staple food is potato and this fungus infected all the potato crops so badly that there was absolutely no production and that condition or that situation was termed as Irish famine. So this is again a very important belonging to Phycomycetes group. Now when we talk of fungi in general, what exactly do we get from these fungi? The first and the most important thing is antibiotic. So we obtain antibiotics. We have seen an example that is penicillium. And this antibiotic penicillium was the, sorry, penicillin. Penicillium was the, the name of the fungus. Penicillin is obtained from penicillium, which is known as the wonder drug. Then we use uh, fungi like yeast for baking industry. So here we are talking of yeast as an example. Then we use fungus for brewing industry. And again we would take the example of yeast. Here the reaction which is used is fermentation. Now there are few more fungi which are used, for example, aspergillus species. They are used for the production of certain organic acids like oxalic acid, citric acid. So these are the fungi which are used for uh, obtaining certain substances. Then there are some fungi which are edible fungi. For example, agaricus, campestris, then agaricus, biospora. These are the edible fungi. And these fungi, which is that is which we commonly call the mushroom, is very good because the nutritive value, the mineral content is very high. So fungi are used for various important things including this neurospora which is used for the genetic research work. So when we talk of kingdom fungi there can be simple lower fungi which do not have septa to highly evolved fungi which have septa. They can have uninucleated compartments or a dicaryonic compartments. And on the basis of reproductive structures, we have classified them into various categories like Ascomycetes, Basidiomycetes and so on. And we also talked of a group which is fungi imperfective because they do not show sexual reproduction. In the next part, we'll talk about lichens and mycorrhizae which are the symbiotic association where one partner is 